Now we're going to talk about posture. Posture is the core of your body language. It's the core of your nonverbal communication. No matter whether you want to appear confident or approachable or empathetic, you need good posture. This is the core of everything that you want to communicate through your body language. And it's important whether you are sitting or whether you are standing. But posture isn't something we are really conscious about. It's not something we put a lot of thought into. If I were to ask you right now, as you're watching the video, what posture are you using right now? If you're watching this video on your smartphone, you're probably hunched over your phone in a posture, something like this. If you're watching on your computer at your desk, you might be slumped back in your chair, you might be relaxed, you might be comfortable, right? What posture are you using right now? It's not something that we put a lot of thought into. I ask you this because I want you to take more note of your posture. I want you to become more conscious and think more about the posture that you use. More so in business situations like meetings, in presentations, when you're standing talking to your coworkers in the corridor, when you're standing in the elevator even. In professional situations, I want you to be more conscious of the posture that you are using because your posture, like I mentioned, it's at the core of your body language and it does impact the impression that you give other people, the perception that they form about you. So if you're using posture that is bad, if you are slumping your shoulders, if you're slouching in your chair, sometimes that can be interpreted that you are bored, that you are disinterested in what that person is saying, that you don't really care about the meeting or the topics that people are talking about. So people can interpret all sorts of things from the body language that you use, and they may interpret things incorrectly. They may form an impression about you that isn't actually correct. So you need to be a lot more conscious of the body language that you use so you can help people form the impression that you want. Example, if you want to appear interested, you need to use body language that will help you appear interested. If you want to appear confident, you need to use body language that will help you achieve that too. So think about what you want to achieve, what is the perception you want other people to have of you, and then decide on body language that will help you achieve that goal. I often get the question, what is good posture? How can you create or use good posture? Well, the basis of this is you need to have a back that is straight, straighten your back, Push your shoulders back a little bit. Tighten your stomach. Make sure those stomach muscles are tight. Lift your head, lift your chin just a little to convey more confidence. Don't do it too much though, because if you do it too much, it can make you look a bit arrogant and that's not good either. And if you're standing, you can widen your stance. I'm obviously sitting right now for the purpose of this video, but if you are standing, having a slightly wider stance will help you get better balance. It will help you appear more grounded and more balanced and stronger when you are talking to the other person. So these are some core things that you can remember and keep in mind if you want to create good posture for yourself. What's important though is to find a posture that works for you. So you don't want to appear awkward and you certainly don't want to feel awkward either by forcing your body into a posture that just doesn't work for you. So try to find a good balance using the elements that I just suggested. Uh, look into a mirror, stand in front of a mirror and try to find a posture that will work for you, a posture that feels comfortable, but a posture that also helps you convey confidence or helps you appear more approachable to other people. You can also ask a trusted friend or a colleague to let you know when you're using bad posture. So one thing I've noticed through my doing these YouTube videos that you're watching right now is that occasionally I can tend to slouch. If I am too comfortable or if I've been filming for a number of hours, I can tend to slouch simply because I'm tired. But when I'm editing the video, I realize that it makes me look like I am not confident, like I am not really interested in what I am telling you or teaching you. So I'm a lot more conscious of the fact that I need to have good posture for these videos now. You can achieve the same thing by asking a trusted friend or a colleague to let you know when you slouch. Connected to posture is leaning in when you're in a conversation with somebody. So leaning in just slightly indicates interest to that person. It shows them and tells them that you're 
eager to hear what they're going to say next and you're really interested in what they're saying to you. Leaning in is great to use whether you're sitting or whether you're standing in a conversation. How can you do it? Well, you simply just slightly lean in. Now, you don't want to do it too much. You need to be aware and very careful of not invading the other person's personal space. Personal space is something that's really important to each and every one of us and it differs from each and every one of us as well. So it can be difficult to understand what is someone else's personal space and to make sure that you're not invading it or that you're not standing too far away. Now, one thing that I will recommend you to do is when you lean in slightly, if the other person moves away from you, that's an indication that you're invading their personal space and you shouldn't lean in anymore. In fact, maybe lean back just a little bit. Similarly, if you are standing too far away from that person, if you are not close enough for them to feel that they're really connecting with you, they might step closer to you or sit closer to you and come closer within your personal space. So personal space is something that's really important. You need to understand about it. It's part of body language and you know interacting and communication and all of that. But leaning in just a little bit will definitely help you convey interest to the other person. The last body language tip is your hand gestures. Now, hand gestures can be really confusing for some people. I get a lot of questions from people asking, well, what do I do with my hands when I'm sitting? What do I do with my hands when I'm standing? So people often don't know what to do with their hands, but I'm hopefully gonna clear that up for you right now. I'm going to go through three examples or three things that you can do with your hands. Uh, some are for sitting and one is for when you are standing. Now, the first one for sitting I wanna share with you is the steeple. So this is the steeple. I'm doing it right now in front of the camera. It doesn't have to be as dramatic as that, but the steeple is really helpful when you're sitting in a meeting, when you're at the table. So when you're at the table, you usually have your elbows. Well, sometimes you have your elbows on the table, right? What do you do with your hands when you have your elbows on the table? Well, a good thing to do with your hands is to do the steeple. I'm just trying to get the right posture for you here right now in the camera. So you can, of course, have your hands a lot straighter. This looks more like a prayer. That's not what I want you to do. You can, of course, have your hands a lot straighter, which makes you look more serious. Uh, but the steeple, just basically when you have your elbows on the table and your hands. Quite often you might see people do this and they rest their chin on top of the steeple. And that's fine to do as well. It's quite comfortable to do. How I'm doing it right now in front of the camera for you looks a little awkward because I'm not sitting at an actual table, but I will show an image on the screen right now of how I have actually done this during a meeting situation. The second gesture that I want to share with you is the wrapped hand. So again, when you're at the table, you have your elbows on the table, your hands could be up like they are when you are doing the steeple and you might just want to wrap you know, your hand around the other and put your chin on it again. So this is something that you can do with your hands when you're at the table. You can also rest your hands on the table. So you have your elbows on the table and your hands on the table flat and you can just rest them like that on the table. This will help you appear relaxed and appear interested. The thing is in meetings, when your hands are above the table, it helps you to appear more honest, more trustworthy. Other people in the room will often feel that you are revealing your emotions and your feelings a lot more. So if you're someone who wants to be more approachable, uh, empathetic, if you wanna convey your feelings and you wanna be more trustworthy and open, with your coworkers, make sure you have your hands above the table, on the table so everyone can see them when you're in a meeting. And the third tip is to use when you're standing. So when you're standing, a lot of people don't know whether they should keep their hands directly by their side, whether they should cross their arms, whether they should put their hands behind their back. People just don't know what to do with their hands when they're standing. Now, one thing that I find works in many different situations when I'm standing is to simply clasp my hands like this in front of my waist. Now you can't exactly see this because it's out of the framing, but I simply clasp my hands like this, just hold them loosely together in front of my waist. 
and I have my forearms resting on my hips. So try to replicate this posture and this hand gesture as well. Again, find something that works for you, something that feels comfortable for you. Don't force your body into anything that just feels awkward because it will make you look awkward too. So find something that makes you look comfortable and makes you feel comfortable as well. But I hope these three tips will definitely give you some ideas on what you can do with your hands. If you have any other questions about body language gestures, something I didn't cover in this video, or maybe something I did talk about, but you still have a question about it, let me know in the comments below. I would be very happy to answer your question. I will be doing a future video on how to build a standout leadership presence for 2022. I think it's definitely something you will be interested in and you'll really love to learn about. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell too, so you can be notified when I release that video. Thank you so much for watching.